I thought you said all ass. Let it go. An all ass party. Did I ever tell y'all about like the the days that I had, like when I was with my group when, and we was going like establish parties and we had like a party for every day of the week? I never told y'all about that. And y'all did it every day of the week? Nah, it was just a plan for when we got famous and we was going to do house parties in Miami every day. I think Monday was going to be, hmm, Monday Madness. Tuesday was going to be Topless Tuesdays. Wednesdays was Wet and Wild Wednesdays. Then you had Throat Thursdays, Freaky Fridays, and Super Soaker Saturdays. That sounds amazing. And then what and we rest on Sunday. That that really sounds. Even that though sounds you throat Thursdays, if niggas is saying throw baby, throat Thursdays is and fine. That sounds energy draining than the motherfucker. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, bro, <laughs> they have a party like, every day of the week. <laughs> like yo, bro. No, relax, bro. bro. You, you, <laughs> you could sell that one. No, do I'm not sell forget throat that Thursdays. Idea. No, I don't want you to be the one th- hosting the party. But I'm saying. Huh? I'm saying like, mm. you're in a relationship, you can't you cannot mm. you can't host those parties no I'm sorry let it go but the well, I idea the parties. I can ho- I can be a ghost host what you but mean a ghost host the idea of setting it up all that stick with that because yeah, like that's, just a planner that, that will sell and it a benefit will. reaper I will go to at least one of them hell mm. matter of fact no it be I skip throat throat Thursday night. <laughs> why? Why? Because there'll be nothing but cucumbers and shit everywhere. No, we're because not bringing it's those. It's, it's... That if you Nigga, what you that, mean? What you mean? Throat Thursday? You I'm skipping goddamn topless shit. Tuesday because I ain't taking off my top. And I'm skipping throat baby throat Thursday. Throat Thursday. Because that's hey. it. That's, that's too sexual for me. Hey, wet and wild Wednesday wet, sound wet. like a winter. Too. Super soaker Saturdays? But that's, that's going swimming. That's Can't get like in without a super soaker. Ooh. That sound like going to swimming. That's naive thinking. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm going swimming, shit. I, I'm diving. Well, I, all right. I ain't going to none of them. Well, <laughs> well, if that's the case, I can't go to none. Because I, I really thought Super Soaker like the, the pool and the slide. I mean, that, the pool and the slide is there, right, but we're super it, soaking, it, 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 it like, has, white t-shirts, white tops, and, and oh, tits. No, no, it, it, it has a sound like, bro, if you have a shirt on, bro, you're not allowed in. That's, like, a top, <laughs> that's topless, too. That, that, for any party, what you talking about? Since like, when did that become a rule? You, you can't not, even wear Especially shirt. throat Thursdays. First of all, this is, this is already, We're just going to mix this, every day this into already, every day. This party, this party is already exotic as it is, bro. We every mind, party. Why? Oh, don't, don't throw exotic like we're supposed to just bypass the fact that you're saying, like, if you're a female, if you're a person in general, especially females, if you have on the shirt, you cannot come in. Bruh. It's got to be a white shirt. Super Soaker Saturdays is but just that's, a reason but, for but it. But still, that's understandable. Okay. But saying right, cool. no shirt, yeah, like, other than man. Topless Tuesday, hey, God man, get out, of my, get, out of my, get out of my week. This is my shit. Yeah. I'm going to try to, yeah, listen. You're not going to have people no. show up. Yeah. Shit, you Anderson, yeah. talk to us. Yeah. Hey, hey, episode 10, where we at? 108? Yeah, I think so. Yes. I feel like playing some Anderson Pop today, Anderson Pack, however you say it. Good music either way. Turn it up. Smooth in the motherfucker. Hey. Sway it on the inside. Can it paint? Can it paint? If you in your car, if you at work, turn this shit up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Hey. She asked me, can a friend ride? Kelly wanna have a drink. And Shani wanna pop pills all night. Look, don't be fucking with my tape deck. You gon' listen to this Marvin, you gon' listen to this Bloodstone Oh, y'all niggas want that Barry White, well, I don't really fuck How y'all feeling? It's Sunday, Sonny, you look great, wow Wow, wow, wow. This is crazy, you got suede on the inside and the outside You just gonna add a suede, it's just suede It's suede, YouTube Louis <laughs> BTV, what's going on, YouTube, what's happening? Hi. I ain't wanna oh, try to talk to you guys. Hey, bro, I ain't still about that. I'm a coach. Yeah, but I'm gonna hey. teach these bitches how to live. I be trying to like be now, more Now most of y'all like, can't hey. do shit. I fuck but with y'all. All my chicks cook grits. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, Sincerely. Yeah. And roll a spliff at the same time. All right. <laughs> you ain't live long enough. Hey, I, I, I bitch this fine. I really thought you had on corduroy no, pants for a minute. Know. Say it again. I really thought you had on corduroy pants. No, that's not what's going on here. Sorry, sir. More Anderson Pack, Pop, however you say it. It's good music either way. Episode 108, huh? Pop, like Tupac. Anderson Pop. Hey. 
Smooth vibes for your 108. Ooh. 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 I feel like, Ooh. I, like I should have went to a yeah. jazz festival. Mm. See. <laughs> You I want to go dancing. Me too. And I don't dance. I do too. Can we set that up? Yeah. Your heart don't stand a chance. Hey, come on, Anderson. There's some skating music right here. Listen, I want to get back into that too. Oh, yeah. And I want to be one of them niggas that be like doing the tricks and shit for Instagram. Hey, listen, it's a market. That shit is hard. Where do we go skating? When COVID dies down, this nigga, this nigga like having a skate day so but I'ma be in there when it calms down for real. That's what it was. Don't, don't it was that cute. Was you just gotta be. You just gotta admit it was a skate day. All right. You get better cool points if you say it was a skate. Yeah, it was just a day. Yeah, it really was a skate. I would've been in love. Your eyes keep me all in the trance and then be ask you. World. Hey. If somebody takes me skating, uh, I will fall uh, in love with pixie sticks. With pixie sticks. And got a body on him. And find a tail and black. And black. respects his mother. You see, you see, you see how, you see how it, is, it went from just, just take me skating. No children. I love with you. Then it's what it's what it's. Benito, no children. Thirty is the max. Have you ever thirty? Thirty, no, and I fall in love with you. That's it. But but that's it. That's it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the What's In My Bag podcast. It is me, your host, Louis B. I am joined by the gang, 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 gang. Sorry, you speak to him, my gal. Today, speak to him, my guy. Hey, man, you already know what the fuck going on. It's your boy. Episode 108, we are giving you some Sunday vibes, which, I mean, it really doesn't matter to y'all anyway, because y'all still get the shit Sunday. But hey, we're recording it same day, editing same day, and we'll be delivered same day. So, let's get this thing started. How is everyone feeling from today forward? I, I guess, hey man, you gotta yeah. save me for last because I did a lot of shit. All right, Sadia, how was your week? My week was long, but it was cool. Um, very productive. Literally for almost a month and a half now, we've been searching, searching for couches. You know, all this got one for rooms to go outlet. They fucked us over. Had to send it back. Mm-hmm. And literally, we finally go to a place. Maybe 15 minutes from our house. Mm-hmm. After five minutes being there, we found the one that we wanted, and it's perfect. And it's just like, why didn't we go here first? So for all the people that are looking into adulthood and are, well, not looking into, moving into adulthood and are looking for things like furniture, or even the people that are naive to the uh, prices of furniture, can you tell us the averages of a couch, um, a love seat? A the seat. average a love seat <laughs> if you buy them separately you'll probably spend about between 600 500 and just for the love seat just for the love seat shit what about How a leather one, one? Mm, i'm not sure about Ooh. leather but i can guarantee it's up there huh. for sectionals if you want a good sectional with a good you know size to it um you gonna you spend that minimum on a thousand oh shit some of the ones that small, smaller sectionals usually they may you may catch them for eight, but usually they're smaller or they'll have the ottoman Oof. placed under it to make it look like it's a sectional, but it's really not. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep me a hammock. I mean, you can always sounds that's doable. About right. A hammock. Shit. But the beauty about furniture yeah, you got is a hammock what, in your house. You can always get it on credit, meaning. You get it now, yeah. pay, pay a little bit down, pay a hundred dollars, two hundred down, mm-hmm. you know, get it delivered, and then you're just paying on it. So that's the good thing. That's why yeah, everybody that's has furniture. You and I've noticed a lot of young people when their first apartments, we don't have furniture because we don't think about on the business of mindset as far as one building your credit on that level. Mm-hmm. It's always just pay it all the way out versus niggas be having a fifty inch sitting on two crates and get this furniture, you know. For dirt cheap, I can spend about five hundred dollars and furnish my whole house. I'm just paying for it over the months. Mm. 
So that's always a step two. As well. The thing is, that don't take long. That don't take long to pay off furniture at all. No, it don't. Not right. if you're paying a hundred dollars yeah. a month on it. You know what I'm saying? Every couple of weeks. And yes. paying more on it sometimes, so yeah. they don't accrue that interest. Listen, guys. Hey, man. Credit with the What's in My Bag podcast. All right. Anything else, Sardia? Um, that was it. And I mean, I'm here. I'm here enjoying y'all. So I'm you looking good. good. This is look at the swag, man. Look at the you drip. All right, I opened the door when she uh when she pulled uh when she pulled up. I was like, what the f- oh, okay. All Who's right. this? Okay. You know, you switch it's it up. A turtleneck vibe. Is that a turtleneck it or a mock neck? No, it's a turtleneck. What do they call it? Okay. Mm, yes, ma'am. Green eggs and ham. <laughs> All right. So, superstar in the making. No, nigga, it's you, nigga. How was your week, nigga? All right. My you, week was you cool. You never answer that question. You know, I've been told that I've kind of lost my way since we've grown as a podcast. I've heard that, Oscar, I don't think you really voice your opinions as much as you let the other two now. You don't? It's been said. When I think about it, I'm like, hmm. I think I've taken more of a mediator role. All right. So, I'm fine. (laughs) (laughs) No, most definitely, but I still... I, I still look at you to hear your opinions and you skip past and I just be like, okay. Huh. Why y'all ain't telling no, 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 check no, no, me, no, man? No, 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 because no, no, no. I see I, I, the thing is the thing is Oscar Oscar gets lost in the content that we give that we already give off. So it's just like, alright, so when it comes back around, it's like you know, it's, and he don't he don't really feel the need. And I'm not to, gonna like, over you know talk on y'all. So so yeah, that like that's that that's what you know saying because like mm-hmm. we because like we'll go back and forth a lot of times or we'll have like such strong opinions and shit like that. And then you know when it comes like I guess come back around and he was like, yeah, all right, so switching gears type shit because like we didn't we didn't provide it like we didn't provide it enough like yeah. you know what I'm saying. So that's how, I mean that's so I need to give them some more Louis B content. Yes, we need to hear your voice more often. Fuck everybody. Fuck everything. <laughs> You can no longer talk. <laughs> That's how I feel. I'm just kidding, man. That's not how I feel. Um, <laughs> my week. No, but, like, but no, one thing about it, like, Oscar does talk to the audience a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he, he, will, he will talk to, like, the audience. Like, they... Like they are in the room and shit for some fucking reason, but I don't know. But you got to. That's it. No, 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 no. That's how you no, do a show. No, I mean, I can't wait to get you in some show business. I, oh, I just I'm ready to take the was, team forward. How was your week? Answer the question. My week was absolutely positively fantastic. I have no complaints. My job is going well. Um, life is going well. Um, everything's just good. I can't. I, I can't complain. I can't complain. And complaining won't help. So. God is good. Another week. Um, that one, nah, I get into it after Jade, cause Jade is a superstar. He's a superstar in the making. <laughs> Trying oh, to see yeah, what so to like, call we, you, we just gonna, star. We, 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 we gonna deep dive in this one, you know what I'm saying? I, I think so. I really, I really, really after what was that? I after, think so. After, you got. I, I saw your rapper hands. Mm-hmm. I look after after Wednesday after Wednesday night. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like. Then I forgot all about this song because I forgot I had background vocals on it. I was like, "Yep, mm-hmm. that's me." Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, at the at the Wednesday night, I, I really feel, I really feel like a different person. Like if you if you don't know me by now, then shit, you just don't know me. Uh, <laughs> what? We it, like if if you if, if you if you used to if you used to know me, you don't know me no more. Uh, you different now. <laughs> I'm, I'm a whole different. You changed person. your number. <laughs> Hey, I, I texted it. We're still the same. I, I might change my number by this time. All right. <laughs> no, nah, but no, nah, that's it. I, I, I perform. I perform Wednesday night. My boy Will had uh, got down uh, had dra- had dragged me. I was like, bro, you might as well do this shit. Shout out to then, the guy. Uh, shout, shout out to my boy Will. So yeah, that's it. That shit was fast fuck. No, we're gonna keep going, right. man. Tell me about uh, how it made you feel. Sure. First time performing. Like, oh, like, bro, hey, was it exhilarating? Hey, no, no, that shit, bro. That shit, that, but I was nervous as fuck. <laughs> like no cap. <laughs> So on the way there, bro. On the, on the way there, I'm, I'm in my car playing the song at least a hundred fucking times, bro. Just so like I can have, you know what I'm saying? So I won't trying uh, to get in your zone. Yeah, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying. So, but then, so like I had got, like I had got there not respectfully to all the other artists. Respectfully, had got there and heard some, and I was like, okay, I definitely feel way more confident than. I do. Uh, I did when on the way up. Oh, them niggas was trash. I'm not gonna say they was trash. All but, right. Yeah. Okay. He's trying to be a politically correct podcaster. Nice. Look at that. This guy's been media trained. 
Keep going. But anyway, so like, um, yeah, like, uh, my boy, my boy Will, he had performed, he had performed before me. Mm-hmm. So like, um, he had did like uh, four songs, like two of his songs, and then like two songs that he was featured on. So like, he was, okay. he was on stage for a minute or whatever. So he got off stage. He was like, "Bro, like, you see how I was doing, bro? Like, get off that motherfucker and goddamn, <laughs> just like, like walk, like walk in the crowd, look, like look in these face, look in these people's face, so they know who he is. You know what I'm saying? Just you know what I'm mm. saying? And I was like, shit, I right, bet. Goddamn, buddy had goddamn introduce, like introduce me or whatever. Mm-hmm. Song, song dropped or whatever. And you know how you know how the song come in or whatever, right? And like, so then I had I had got into him with that shit. It's been so long. Yeah. So then, bro, then once that motherfucking beat dropped, oh yeah, it was over with. I was off that motherfucking <laughs> stage and everything, bro. That shit, bro, that shit was crazy, bro. That shit, bro, that shit was crazy. Did it feel like bro. crack? Hey, for, hey, that, bro. To hey. answer that question, you would have had yeah. to do crack. I mean, it felt like crack, but <laughs> <laughs> I never done crack. <laughs> but so yeah, um, I did that. That happened, and um, I had also, bro. All right, y'all know, like, bro, I'm a big Kevin Gates fan and all that type of shit, right? Uh huh. Did a did a Kevin Gates poetry or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Really hey, nice. so fit, hey, of course, you know what I'm saying, but appreciate it. Thank you. But uh, uh I had uh you know, put shit on Instagram or whatever mm-hmm. and tag uh tagged his uh, you know, official little page. His management team, yeah. I see it, yeah. Content them team. The motherfuckers put me on their motherfucking story. Why not? I was literally the very first goddamn uh shit on there. I was like, Oh yeah, so I don't know why. Like certain shit just had to be like seen for me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like a lot of a lot of things about to be about to be going in place. I done did did a lot of little changing ups and shit. You know what I'm saying? Good, about to do big, bigger that projects. So nice. So anybody need a portrait of busting you over the head? None less than a hundred. Hey, hey, say it again. Say none, it again. None less than a hundred. Say it again and tell them where to find your music. Hey, on SoundCloud. It's time to start doing SoundCloud that too, rapper. nigga. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jacob Harris, nigga, on SoundCloud. Who? Shit. Jacob Harris Who's on that? SoundCloud. Hey, that's um. Shit, bro. On that shit, that's, it's that's me. A whole deep dive. I mean, it is me, but like yeah. a whole deep dive behind it. But yeah, like Jacob Harris on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I need, I, I'm definitely gonna do do a lot more with this. Do a lot more with this shit because that shit feels amazing, bro. I love to see people being inspired to do more. I love to hear the conversations change. I love to hear it just be about success. I guess that's what Louis B content looks like. That's that's what me y'all y'all sure y'all want me to talk more? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. If it works. If it works. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the what's in my bag topics for today. So today I've taken a bag and we have a nice smaller one that I've written letters on to signify who we are. And in the coming weeks, the bag will get better. So. <laughs> What we're gonna do hey, now? We upgraded from the Kroger bag. Yeah, man. <laughs> slow upgrades. Very slow upgrades. I want to start adding topics too. You can bring some every you week. Most definitely can, cause these are not. I want to fill this it is up. Not easy. This is this is not easy. I already had that one. Oh damn! Well, take I, the, I, what the... I thought I threw them away. I don't want to see pegging squared. Right. <laughs> he said, "Huh? <laughs> pegging?" No, it's not that. It wasn't that one. Pegging. <laughs> what is that? All right, you gotta say it. What's oh. up? Oh, body count. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does everybody need a, bit, a moment to count? Not just for <laughs> a moment that didn't count. Um, do we want to like like so start much- with is body count important first, or just get into numbers? I don't think it's important at all. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I don't think it's that important. Guys, y'all really don't care. No. no, because anything over one is multiple, so shit. Like, yep, yep. And she's been with multiple, I feel so like multiplies. I don't care about men, as crazy as it sounds, but hmm. it does, body count does matter as far as females to me. And that's only because... And I can see some people saying that. And that's because, like, I remember when I was, like, in middle school, had I mean, not middle school, like, I was in high school, probably, like, between 10th to... My senior year might have been my might have been eleventh grade year going to my senior year, and I remember one of my um step cousins at the time she was like a girl's body count the most it can only be is ten in life in life, in life. <laughs> like immediately after ten you, you woody the woodpecker that shit so I always 